Hello everyone and welcome back to Flames Plays and today we're continuing in Echo. We just crossed the dangerous bridge and apparently that decided to show up with us. No, no that's bad. Please don't do that. So yeah, uh, we're going to try to jump this, this barrier I think right off the bat and hope there's nothing around us. Oh no, there is. Oh boy, thank you. That's awesome. Yep, that's not what we wanted at all. Um, let's see, do we have... Oh, okay, this one's sauce. Alright. Well, let's see what we can do with that. Hmm. Hmm? Oh, that's weird. It, for some reason, it seemed different than when we actually came in at. I don't know what just happened to me. I just got completely turned around, it seems. Yeah, so these golden gods, F does nothing. One shot does nothing. It takes two shots just to stick them down. So now we're stuck trying to figure out how to kill the one holding the key. And also survive long enough to get the key. Therein lies the difficulty of the game. Can't make that descent. Looks like I can descend from here, but I'm pretty sure that would kill me. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. It took more shots than it actually should have. Uh, we're gonna grab the big one, I think. It's three. Hmm. No, 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 no. Bye bye. Oh crap, that one's gonna respawn right there, isn't it? Alright. I can just get in the general vicinity here. Oh, that was a bad idea. Poor idea. That was poor planning on my behalf. Okay, if she threw me into water, at least it could have cushioned my fall a little bit. Maybe I wouldn't have died. Oof, this is not promising at all. Not caring that I'm running because these guys don't learn from me. They are like children, they don't learn from the parents. They learn from watching people on TV. It's actually kind of sad now that I think about it. Actually, no, they didn't even learn from TV, they learn from YouTube. Scrap, okay, scrap the whole gameplay idea. Instead, I'm becoming a children's YouTube channel where I teach people, teach, teach, ugh, teach the letters of the alphabet. Now, uh, I'm only gonna have 26 videos, ever. Um, although I might include, ooh, I could include punctuation. That would include, that would actually broaden, broaden the horizons. I took you out. Right, they know I'm here. It's two shots, I can get over here. So they're gonna start coming up. Yep, here we go. Oh shit, they're coming from both sides. That's not good. Right, they're gonna come from this side. Yep, this side first. You're dead. And you're dead, you're dead. Okay, that's kinda weird. Why didn't you come up all the way? I might as well wait up here. There's a blackout occurring. Oh! Yeah, that was not intended at all. Uh, like, in the slightest bit. I mean, 
honestly, if I can kill it, I don't know if these will stay dead. There you go. Let's see. Do you stay dead? Alright, you, you stay hey. dead. Why did I just yell at hey? God damn it. Alright. So, since you stayed dead, we could actually utilize that. There is a full orb over here. I can try to take. I got that. I don't know if that's going to be able to see me. But if we do that, they definitely won't be able to see me. Now, oh, oh hi. You really, you really got to walk down that way. You don't have to walk down that way, you know. You could, you could be cool. None of the cool kids are walking down that way. I pick Got that it. up. Yeah, it's up there. I have three shots. Oh, no, correction. I have four shots if needed. But interestingly enough, there's no one on this side. Which actually terrifies me more. Because that means that the one that died up there is alive still. Why do we have a blackout now? I didn't teach anyone anything. They know less than I do, probably. Oh god, why? 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 Alright, just sprint now. Doesn't matter. Can't push them away anyway. A is for aardvark, B is for bear. C is for everything except for the chair. Actually, no, that's terrible. C is for chair. I made it. I have no idea how I made it, but yeah, I did. Later, nerds. Oh god, I thought I was gonna walk off for a second. <laughs> oh, I'd hate that. You're breaking up. I'm hearing you fine, but the sphere is messing with your reception. If I cut out entirely, I'd better say this now. Good luck, Ian. And be careful. Oh, Lennon's got a soft spot for us. Oh. Um. All right. So this might be the end. Or what happened? Okay, I was gonna say, am I still running? Ridiculously bright, that is for sure. But very clean looking. Alright. What's this now? This looks really cool. This is totally sci-fi. Wait. What the f This was the ship I was on. It must be making it for Foster's memories. To ease his return. What the shit? Look at the detail. I know that. Go back to episode one. You'll see. I said the exact same thing. The detail in that and the textures was great. Um, why did it go black? Please don't tell me you're gonna start showing clones in here. I don't have my. I don't have my gun. I can't use it at least. What the? Oh shit! I lost my suit. The cube. And the cube. Yeah. These are my memories. You have to say. This isn't about Foster. It's about me. You consider yourself the answer to the eternal questions of life and death. You killed him. Now you lost our chance. You killed him, you stupid bitch. And now you lost our chances of bringing him back. How clever is that? Oh, shit. So is that transform the transformation tablet right up ahead? Are we recreating when we embed it Foster in the cube? I'm not even I'm not even controlling the character anymore. What am I doing? <laughs> Foster. So that's how it is. 
just like last time. Only one of us is getting out alive. That's all I asked for, I suppose. A chance to correct my mistake. I just didn't imagine it would be this damn difficult. Well, you said it, Gramps. Great challenges and equally great rewards. Take care, Foster. Holy shit. Of London as well. <laughs> of London as well. Damn. So, and just gave herself up to bring Foster back. And Foster looks like a generic Mass Effect character. At least N had personality into her looks. Alright, so that was the game. I... I enjoyed it. That was actually a really good game, I thought. Um, incredibly hard in certain points, but not unforgivingly hard. It was... The, the worst part was definitely the last part, where I had to fight all the Golden Gods. But I didn't even actually really fight them, I was more just learning their paths and slowly taking it time, taking my time through it. It's really... Oh, geez, it's a weird game to describe because it's not stealth, because stealth never really played into it it was more of just keeping track of what you're doing so you know what the clones know and knowing what you can do that they can't do and then swapping that around during each blackout now there were some times where the blackouts made no sense because they would trigger like within a minute making and me making no changes to my action at all but but most times it did seem like an actual solid reason to trigger it uh in fact in one of the videos you actually would have seen me going back and forth between a, uh, a banister trying to actually trigger a black out just so I know I can do my run during that time. Let's see, is there anything afterwards? Ooh, new settings from Play. Legacy game mode. Enemies learn, unlearn over two cycles inside of one, changing the dynamic fundamentally. And ultra hard difficulty. Harder than hard, and the echoes need two shots to die. Ugh. Ugh, no. No, siri. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend this game. Give it a try. Um, if you see it on sale, it's really worth a pick up. It's Ultra Ultra's first game they've released, so uh, it's a good showing, that's for sure. And it really did nail like a weird sci-fi setting that wasn't completely sci-fi. I mean, the palace itself was very little sci-fi. The cloning, that was definitely was. But the ship, I mean, the first video you guys saw how blown away I was at how the texturing, the lighting, the character animations, everything's very fluid. And the slow reveal of the clones I thought was awesome because let's see, like, oh, what's that black goo on the floor? And oh, oh, that has a face. Oh, that has my face. Like, that, that's really unsettling. The fact, I mean, I kind of wish they would go into more into the clone idea. Maybe something like, how do I know which clone's real? Embedded memories, stuff like that. I think this could have gone a different turn than just, we need to bring Foster back. I mean, for all we know, too. Is Foster alive stuck in the palace? Does Foster need to get out of the palace now? I mean, that's kind of a, that, that kind of leads up to a possibility of a sequel, I guess? At the same time, I don't think that this game, this type of gameplay would actually make it to a sequel unless they did something very different with the mechanics and how it's done. But I, again, I definitely would recommend this game, that's for sure. Uh, a, okay, kind of, there you go. Yeah, I, I know I missed quite a bit of these all. <laughs> but I would definitely recommend uh, playing it yourself. Uh, it's available on Steam. And I look forward to see what else Ultra Ultra has in store for us in the future. But I hope you guys all enjoy the series. Make sure you guys subscribe so this way you're kind of up to date when I release new videos. And feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions on what I want to play next. Um, I believe at the time that this is wrapping up, I should be in Ruiner or maybe in Nightmare House 2, which I'm looking really forward to doing. Uh, so I hope you guys all join me for those series. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.